but when I think about a person having a STEM identity of some kind, what I think matters is how they see themselves, whether they see themselves as having an affinity to the field, and what others reflect back to them. So I see whether they recognize themselves as belonging in the field and whether otherwise other people recognize them as belonging in the field. Identity in the sense of an internally felt process is one thing, but I think your ability to step in and occupy a legitimate role in a setting is another meaning for identity. And it's at that level of identity, the, ide the level of being able to legitimately occupy a role that other people recognize as important or valuable. That's where problems crop up and that's where what other people see when they look at you can start affecting whether you can assume the identity of a physics student, let's say, regardless of what you feel inside. So interest is key. You have to have an affiliation with the field. In the way that I think about identity, if you don't have an affiliation with the field, you won't be entering the setting in which you're trying to um, be accepted as belonging there. But after that, um, I, I don't think of identity as residing in a person. I think of it as residing in a setting and who is and isn't allowed to, who is and isn't regarded by other people in the setting as belonging and being valuable and being um, an exemplary member of the setting. Thank you.